Welcome back to Shul's Flashlight Reviews. I'm going to be talking about a new innovation in flashlight switches, which is called the MOF, the Momentary Off, and this is brought to us by Overready Torch Labs Boss Light here. I got two lights here that are almost identical except for the switch. This one is about a year old on the right here, and this one I just took delivery of. They are both future or FT35 boss lights from Overready, and they are the same engine, and the body is almost identical. They're both aluminum, had just a little different styling here, but the switch is the big difference between them. Let's take a look at it. The switch on the right here is a McClicky, and it is a Ford Clicky. So what does that mean? Well, McClicky is the brand, and Ford Clicky is the style of switch. If you want to know more about the various styles of switches like Ford Clicky, Reverse Clicky, E-Switch, definitely click on the link that I'm displaying up here in the video right now. I got a video where we go through that in depth. Let's just have a quick recap on the Ford Clicky just so that we can talk about them off effectively. The Ford Clicky, it has a half press. I don't need get a little, a little light out of here. That's a half press. I'm holding it. And then if you press further, it latches and clicks into place. So in use, you would tap, 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 find what you want, click hard, let go. There you are. Now let's talk about what's happening electronically on the inside. So when the switch is out, the battery is disconnected from the driver. So when you half press, you're connecting it to power. And the driver reads those presses, and I would think through capacitance, through a capacitor, you're charging the circuit, and when you let go momentarily, you are disconnecting it from power, but that charge is remaining, so it's able to read that as a short disconnection, and then that way when you reconnect it, it goes to the next mode, right? Mode memory is disabled on both of these lights, so I'm always starting at the lowest, which is moonlight red, and then I go to low, higher, 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 right? Now let's take a look at the MOF, which is kind of the exact opposite electronically. On the inside, it is connected the whole time when it's in the, you know, out or off state, you know, when the button is not being pressed, it is connected to power. And that allows you to have things like beacon here, which I'll talk about more in a moment. So when we press it, we enter the moonlight red, and when I press it again, it's going to go up to white, and then the next mode, and the next mode every time I press it. And notice in between presses, when I press forward, notice the emitters turn off for a second, because when you press it, you are actually disconnecting it from power. To get it to turn off, you just do a slightly longer press, just about that long. It's not even a full second. It's not even half a second. I was timing it. It's like under half a second. So... A short press switches modes, and then a slightly longer press turns it off. Let's talk about the advancement here. Why, why would you want this over a standard McClicky? Well, for one thing, the feel of it. It's much more precise. The McClicky has this rubber boot over it, and it kind of pushes around, and then there's a plastic stem in there that you know pushes down into the switch, and there's a little bit of play. And in fact, you have to press a little bit. Watch, I'm pressing a little bit and nothing's happening over here. There we go. So you can see that there's a little bit of travel before it even activates. And then when it does activate on that half press, you got to push further and further and further and then it clicks. So there's definitely a learning curve to being able to effectively switch modes. And I've noticed that when I hand these Ford clickies to my wife or friends, sometimes it's not really easy for them to master it right away. With the MOF here, there's no real travel. I mean, there's a one millimeter difference here. So it's like, it's very precise. It's very clicky. It's very obvious what's going on. You don't have to worry about half presses, full presses. You just smash the button and stuff happens. So for handing this light to a friend, I mean, they're going to immediately know how to use this. So that's an advancement. 
Another thing about it is waterproofness. This switch is supposed to be a higher protection from ingress than even the McClicky. Another thing is the durability of the switch. The McClickies are pretty durable, but I have had to switch out a couple of McClickies on a couple of my lights, you know, after years. This switch is supposed to be, or at least, you know, purported to be, uh, higher durability. It's a really new switch, so I don't think there's much in the way of community response to it yet. But I know that uh, the internal testing by beta testers and Overready themselves state that this is going to be a more reliable switch. But let's get to the last two reasons why you would turn to the MOF. One of the reasons is that since it's always on, until you press that is, you have the ability to do things like this, which is have a beacon locator. This is the kind of stuff that was available on e-switch lights. So like Hank lights have auxiliary lights, you can have them flash. So that way if you you know are out in hiking or something and you drop the light into some tall weeds, you can find it. Well, now you've got that ability on a boss as well. So really, the MOF here is kind of combining two worlds here, which is uh, clickies with e-switches in a way. I mean, it's still a clicky and it still disconnects from power. It's not an e-switch, but the fact that it's always on means that you can do e-switch style things with the driver. And then lastly, and I think this is the biggest one, is this switch is very fast to use. So I've got both these set up with uh, eight modes total. So that's red and then uh, seven whites. And when I try to click through here on the McClicky, and I, you know, I'm really used to it, you kind of go uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, see, I clicked just then, and that's something that can happen. So hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. There's the highest mode, and then I click in. So that's kind of the standard operation here. Now, the reason I probably could have gone a little faster, but you notice that. I accidentally had clicked in the first time, so I was trying to avoid that. And secondly, I was trying not to go past the eighth mode back to the red, right? I didn't want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, and then back to the red. So I was kind of doing it at a pace that I knew was reliable. Well, with the MOF, I mean, you can just smash this thing as fast as you want, and it's so precise and easy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, you can just nail it every time. There's no worry here. And that's mostly because there's no half press, full press to latch. It's just, you just mash it. So here I am on moonlight. So I'll go seven to turbo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's just so fast. So um, it is $80 more. So that's something to be concerned about. But if money's no object, I find this a better switch. I really love it. And uh, I hope that we find other manufacturers playing with MOF or, or trying to use it because it is something unique to the Overready uh, Torch Labs 35 right now. And I'd like to see what other vendors might do with it because it's a fast, clicky switch that allows you to do stuff while the light is sitting here in the, quote, off state. If you like this video and you want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'm releasing videos all the time. And uh, thank you for watching.